Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, We Don't Have Much Time. We Don't Have Much Time. Any of you all who have clicked on this audio message, your question might be, time for what? You answer that question. The Holy Spirit will even help you answer that question if you don't have a clue. We don't have much time. We don't have much time to make wrongs right. We don't have much time at a job. We don't have much time with our children. We don't have much time in a marriage. We don't have much time in preparing for a relocation. We don't have much time when it comes to shopping. We don't have much time and much money when it comes to handling our business. That business that you might not even want to discuss in a comment section. We don't have much time and too many people are wasting time with individuals that can't help them, won't encourage them. We got too many people who's wasting time in relationships where folks aren't communicating, folks aren't sharing, folks aren't interested in uplifting. Why are we wasting time? Some of you all, you recognize that you didn't have much time a long time ago when you got ill. Come on. Some of you others, you are ill right now and you know you don't have much time to make a phone call. Some of you others, what will it take for you to value your time? We got young people who are often late. They don't respect other people's time. I'm expecting you to show up on time. Why is it that you keep disrespecting us by showing up late? Oh, I'm not being disrespectful. Yes, you are because I set a time for you to be here. You see, and I need for you to be here from the start to the finish. I can't keep recapping. When I'm putting together these audio messages, There are those short messages. There are those ones that's a little lengthy and there are those those ones that require much time because for some people, you haven't given yourself enough time to be changed by an audio message, to come up with a plan that the audio message triggers you to create. Some of you all haven't given God enough time after you've listened to an audio message to really think things through, to dive deep. Time is valuable, saints as well as sinners. Time can motivate you to get something done when it is used wisely. When time is wasted, that's when we get into trouble. That idle time will cause us to go places where we shouldn't on the internet as well as off the internet. Idle time will cause you not to help a person because, well, I'm just in my moment doing what I want to do. When you know that you have lived a bit on this planet, and you spent a lot of your free time being idle, you will answer to that. Whether it's a person who's saying, how long are you going to spend time on that phone? How long are you going to spend time in front of that computer? How long are you going to spend time talking to that person that you really shouldn't be talking to? Because you know that person, they're a seductress or she's a Jezebel. Or you know that that, that man just wants more of your money. Or that sibling, all they want is for you to do just one more thing. Or that person is getting inside your head because it's about benefits to him or to her. And not necessarily about benefiting the collective. You see, answer the question. Answer the question, what am I doing with my time these days? What is it that God wants me to do with my time? Hmm, Uh uh-oh. I need to know. Why do you need to know? 
Why, what is it that you need to know? What is time going to birth out? Time spent with God. What is it going to birth out? Well, you can't answer that question unless you spend time. Spending time with the doctor. What will you learn? Spending time with a beloved friend. What will you discover? Spending time with your daughter or your son. What might you find out? Spending time at the workplace. What might you learn? Spending time at the workplace. What might you gain? Oh, time is so precious. We know that time is precious to the one true God because he gave his people in the Bible time to finish projects, time to plan, right? Even Solomon talked about there are various times for things to happen, a time to die, right? A time to live, a time to grow. There's always a time to do something. What does a typical day look like for you? When was the last time you spent time on your craft? When was the last time that you spent time cleaning your house, organizing your home, right? When was the last time that you took care of the outside of your home? When was the last time that you got your car checked? I'm triggering some thought now. Come on now. This is an inspirational cha channel. When was the last time that you looked on the computer and you saw an unfinished project and you have yet to complete it? When was the last time that you added to your professional development? Personal development. Parenting development. Studied and show thyself approved unto the one true God development. <laughs> Hallelujah and praise be to the one true God. So this simple message is to provoke thought, is to, of course, prov provoke action and let us get our jobs done. Because we simply don't have much time on this planet. Blessings to you. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. If you feel so moved to give, make some time to do that. And thank you in advance.